well, this is my way you know that other way that people just do it where they um they basically do it by hand mm -hmm. i admire that so Same. much hello my foodies and welcome to how to food nation I'm here with the ever so fabulous Arlene, <laughs> so good at what she does, myself, Natalie, and today we will be making flory. Okay. All right, so see, I see the spoon down in your hand already, so you're mixing things. Yes, All right. I'm the professional mixer. <laughs> so we have our all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy, so you mix that up first. Okay. All right, we have some baking powder. Okay. We have a little salt, a mm. flavor, and we have our saffron. Now, with this saffron powder, you have to be very careful because if you put too much, it's going to turn red. Oh, yes. really? Even though it's initially yellow, yes, I that's what happens. Been very so you want to be um, very, very light with this. Better to have light yellow pylori okay. than red pylori. Okay. This is a very easy mix, even though they, are, they have instant polori mm -hmm. mix on the market. But just in case you forget to pick that up, these are ingredients you have all the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go in with some warm water. Right. Mix okay. away. All right, so of course the consistency we're looking for is not a, um, a dough that you can knead, of course, but mm -hmm. something that is soft and sticky and moist. Mm -hmm. A nice, like a spooning dough is what I would say, where you just, you, you can only really manage it with a spoon. Okay. So that's how we're going to get it into fry. All right. So to add a little local to the, um, a little fresh seasoning, I like some bits of shadow benny. Mm -hmm. There we go. So after I put in some of my liquid, I start putting in my bits of shadow benny. I think that gives a nice little flavor. This, of course, we need to let it sit for about 20 minutes. This is a little bit. Mm -hmm. So 20 minutes will give you um, a nice puffy dough. Right. And then, of course, we heat up our oil and we start frying. Okay, yeah. sounds good. We have our plori mix. Yes, ready to go. Mm-hmm. Right. So we just take a little wet spoon. Okay. This is my way, you know that other way that people just do it, where they um, they basically do it by hand. Mm -hmm. I admire that so Same. much. So this is hot vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Don't overcrowd the pot, but you can put a good bit in here. And they will float up at the top. You're cooking these for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And then out, fresh polori. So we're gonna fry these up. And what are we eating it with, actually? Hmm. Some tamarind sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we could whip up some tamarind sauce next time. I find so. We can. <laughs> All right. We actually can make I some. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> All right, great. Okay, we have fresh a... polori. Don't say I never treat you nicer. It's true. You're really treating me good enough. You're really treating me good enough. With the exception of the sauce. But Aline, you have to come back and teach me how to do the tamarind sauce. Huh? Of course. We can have polori with Without no tamarind sauce. Mm -mm. But what about mango chutney? Mmm. That might be a vibe. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do this a little mango. Actually, comment and let us know what sauce you want to learn to do. Mango. Chutney. Tamarind. Palm city. Palm city. <laughs> let us know. And also let us know if your recipe turned out amazing, just like these. Make sure to like, subscribe. And we'll check you back next time. Bye. Bye.